So today we wanted to talk about something that happens in every garden all over the world, but here in the Northwest it's especially important because sometimes we can have very extreme weather. And this spring we've had some really, really hot days that just came on instantly. It seemed like within 24 hours it was 100 degrees. And a lot of times what will happen is you'll get some serious sunburn on plants. Now I was really surprised to see this Magnolia Seboldiana burning. It's the third time this year that it's burned. And one of the ways that you'll know if it's sunburn is because the new leaves that come out, well, they're going to be just fine, but it certainly does damage to the old leaves. And it can happen on any plant. It can happen on trees, vines, shrubs. We're going to be showing you some of the things like Aristolchia, Dutchman's pipe vine. Beautiful new leaves that are rich and green, but underneath you can see the other ones. And on another tree, it barely burned the leaves, but the new growth is all fine. It's about a foot long. Very beautiful. I'm going to take you over now to a place in the garden where I have a, a wonderful lily member family called the Cardiocrinum giganteum and show you what to do with some leaves on perennials that are easy to take care of when sunburn happens to your plants. So now here we have the Cardiocrinum giganteum. It's a beautiful member of the lily family. It gets like 10 foot tall spikes of blooms. The leaves on this had already come out. They were beautiful, big, glossy green leaves and then the sud in them and this happened. Well, at first I thought I had some disease, but then the new growth started coming out and of course it's just fine. So especially with smaller perennials, things like that, you can go in and just cut those leaves off and just toss them into the dumpster or into your compost bin and then the other ones will come back out and be fine. Now really there's not a lot you can do about sunburn, but one of the things that does seem to alleviate the problem is if they're well watered. Now if it happens really quick and you're not aware it's going to get to be 102, you might not have any luck watering, but if you can and you know it's going to get hot, really water them long and deep and hard and that'll fill their cells with moisture and certainly alleviate a lot of the sunburn. So if you think you have a disease and you don't know if it's sunburn, take, take a leaf into any of your independent garden centers. They can look at it, tell you what's going on.